We're going to determine if these triangles are right, acute, or obtuse. First, we're going to start with our formulas. a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, then it's acute. We have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, then it is a right triangle. And if we have a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, then it is obtuse. So we're going to look at number 4. Number 4, our a is 6, our b is 8, and our c is 10. So we're going to write our formula over here, a squared plus b squared, and we don't know what our sign is, c squared. We're going to plug those in. So a is 6, b is 8, and c is 10. So 6 squared is 36, plus 8 squared is 64, 10 squared is 100. So we know that 36 plus 64 is 100. So our sign is equals 100. That means number 4 is a right triangle. Now we're going to take a look at number 7. And our A is 5, our B is 6, and our C is 7. So I have 5 squared plus 6 squared. We don't know our sign. 7 squared. 5 squared is 25 plus 6 squared is 36. We don't know our sign. 7 squared is 49. We know that 25 plus 36 is 61. And we know 61 is greater than 49. So we look at our chart and that means that this is an acute triangle. Now we're going to take a look at number 10. A equals 3, B equals 4, C equals 6. And our formula is A squared plus B squared. We don't know our sign, C squared. So we're going to plug in our, for our letters, our numbers. So we have 3 squared for A, and then B is 4. We don't know our sign. C is 6. 3 squared is 9, plus 4 squared is 16. We don't know our sign. 6 squared is 36. We know that 9 plus 16 is 25. And we know that 25 is less than 36. So number 10 is an obtuse triangle.